Hello everyone and welcome to AI Makoto Works. In this video, we're going to explore conversation variables in Diffie. By using conversation variables, you can efficiently store and utilize critical information for controlling chat flow more effectively. In our previous video, we discussed Diffie's memory function. While the memory function is incredibly useful, it comes with limitations. For example, it has a size limit of 100 entries, meaning that older information can no longer be accessed once the limit is reached. Additionally, as the conversation grows, the number of tokens used increases, leading to higher processing costs. That's where conversation variables come in. They allow you to overcome these challenges by enabling you to manage essential information for chat flow control on a more permanent basis. In this video, we'll create a simple chat flow to demonstrate how to use conversation variables effectively. So, stay tuned until the end. Let's get started. In this section, we're revisiting the chat flow from our previous video to make some adjustments to the LLM node. Specifically, we've set the memory window size to a very small value, just two. Let's look at how this affects the conversation history. Here's an example of a chat using this new setting. At the beginning of the conversation, when asked about my favorite drink, the AI was able to correctly answer coffee. However, as the conversation progressed and new messages were added, the memory lost track of earlier details. Eventually, when I asked the same question again, the AI could no longer recall the correct answer. This demonstrates how a smaller memory window size impacts the AI's ability to retain information over time. Now, let's test how conversation variables can enhance our interactions. To begin, we'll create a conversation variable. In this example, we've set up a variable called favorite as an array of strings. This variable is designed to store the things that the user likes. By doing this, we can keep track of user preferences and make our conversations more personalized and engaging. Let's see how it works in action. Next, let me explain the chat flow we use to test the conversation variables. First, in the initial LLM node, we extract the user's favorite foods and drinks from their input. Then, we store the output from this LLM node into the conversation variable called favorite. Finally, the flow retrieves answers by allowing the LLM node to reference both the user's questions and the content stored in the favorite variable. Let's take a look at the first LLM node. In this node, the prompt is configured to extract the user's favorite foods and drinks from their input. As shown in the bottom right corner of the screen, the memory feature is turned off for this node. Next, the extraction results from the LLM node are stored in a conversation variable using the variable assigner. Finally, the user's question and the content of the conversation variable are set in the user message. This setup allows the system to generate responses based on both the question and the stored information. Here are the results of the execution. Even with the memory feature turned off, the system is still able to correctly respond to the user's favorite drink by saying, it's coffee, isn't it? In this video, we explored how to use conversation variables in Diffie. The chat flow we demonstrated was a basic scenario to help you get started with conversation variables, so the setup was quite simple. However, Diffie provides reference materials in its templates for more advanced use cases. For a deeper understanding, check out the personalized memory assistant template. It offers excellent insights into effectively using conversation variables. Diffie also comes with other powerful features like environment variables. We'll dive into those in upcoming videos, so stay tuned. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to AI Makoto Works for more tutorials. See you in the next video.